Hello citizens and welcome back. In today's video I would like to take a look at initial feedback for the tier 0 implementation of salvage gameplay and try to draw some comparisons to how mining gameplay was developed. As always, if you like this video, sacrifice a like and a comment to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. And here's a shout out to our amazing patrons for their support of the channel and the armory. So first let's take a look at the most common feedback from backers regarding salvage. First up, it's the necessity to get out of your seat to move salvage boxes one by one in the voucher. This problem is not that apparent on the reclaimer because you're expected to have someone in the salvage room to do this, but the vulture is a solo ship. It takes about 2 minutes on average to generate enough salvage to fill a box, and once the box ejects it blocks further boxes from ejecting. Meaning that every 2 minutes there is a need for you to get up and move the box out of the way. Technically that is not true however, you can still fill the dispenser once a box is ejected and then go move the first box and manually eject the second one. This however doesn't really solve the problem. And on the other hand, the cargo handling is a part of the desired gameplay for the Vulture. There are two proposed solutions. One is to place a remote tractor beam into the cargo hold to move the boxes from the pilot seat. This seems elegant but requires a bit too much work and I feel like it might break the desired gameplay. The other solution I can think of is increasing the dispenser capacity. I think 4 or 6 SC would be a good starting point. Basically you would go down, eject and place 4 boxes at once and then resume salvaging. Of course the balance could be tweaked but I think it would be an elegant and quick temporary solution. The second problem mentioned is that there is little danger associated with salvage. With mining you risk overloading the rock you mined and containing exploding. Salvage so far has no such risks. Technically there is some danger associated with the location you salvage at, since salvageable ships mostly spawn in asteroid fields, but mining has the same danger. So yes, salvage lacks dangers directly associated with the gameplay, but I think that hull scraping is meant to be inherently safe. It's the further features such as component looting and hull splitting that should carry dangers such as rupturing fuel lines resulting in an explosion, or environmental hazards inside the ship that you try to recover components from. So yes, hull scraping does lack some element of risk. I think this eventually will be balanced with the expected income as I think it's the components and hull structural elements and armor that will create the most value from salvage. And the last major problem is the lack of loot. And I actually agree with this one. Some of the salvageable ships can be boarded and I expected to find some loot or cargo inside. I think it would be a very fun addition as it would create an incentive for players to explore as well as increase risk and create possible distractions from the linear salvage gameplay. And I think it would actually be fairly simple to implement into the existing salvageable ships, so I think it will eventually be added. Because I feel like there will be heavy focus in fleshing out salvage gameplay similar to how mining was quickly fleshed out after the initial implementation. And I actually think salvage will follow in a lot of the same steps that mining took. Now we also recently learned that in 3.19 CIG will make tweaks to mining, which I will cover in a separate video. There is also a minor problem in regards to scanning. I imagine this will be fixed in one of the upcoming patches, but it would be nice to be able to tune your scanner pings for a specific target like wrecks, mineables or other ships. It would definitely help with the clutter, but it might also go against the intended use of the scanner ping, depending on what CIG you are going for. I seem to remember one of the devs saying that the scanner ping is supposed to be a quick way to find out what's around you and then you can refine your search further with the scanner. So now let's think about what future developments of salvage could look like. We know that the end goal is for us to be able to break down entire ships and leave nothing behind, and we're missing quite a lot of tech and features for that. I think the major milestones will be the ability to loot components and then to break down the ships into chunks and then grinding them up but I think the first step will be fleshing out the hull scraping mechanics. I think we can definitely expect the implementation of multiple scraper heads to swap out the stock ones. I suspect there will also be modules similar to mining modules, but CAG may not take that route in favor of something else. Before we move any further, many of you may think of another game here. Hardspace Shipbreaker offers a very comprehensive salvage experience, because obviously it is a purely spaceship salvage game. But I think it can also offer a very good comparison to what we can eventually expect in Star Citizen. The first stepping stone towards component looting could be regular loot and cargo spawning inside the salvageable wrecks. This would incentivize the players to explore, and would also allow CAG to start experimenting with environmental hazards such as fires, chemicals or hazardous materials on board the wrecks, as well as some traversal puzzles. Now here come the first issues of missing tech. While it's possible to build environmental hazards and traversal puzzles with the existing tech, the two major items we will need are cutting and charge drain. 
to either cut through doors and bulkheads or to free components for their mounts, or to power up the doors and lights for short periods to allow for traversal. Now, we do have a cutting attachment for the multi-tool, so technically there could be some kind of a placeholder tech where you would point it at a specific panel on a door and it would open. But I think that freeform cutting is pretty close to complete, so it might be a waste of time to implement the placeholder. That brings me to the second important milestone in salvage, the ability to loot weapons and components from the racks. Like I said before, I think this will be a main profit source of salvage. Not only will it create a big incentive for people to explore wrecks, which increases danger, but it also gives CIG the opportunity to let us find rare components that can't be purchased anywhere. Of course, they would need to be repaired, but I think that can be handled by the standard repair functionality once you mount the component on your ship, or maybe CIG can add some kind of a component repair kiosk. The technology blockers are the same as with the previous point, and this feature will also need physicalized components and the ability to place them on a cargo grid, but it is my understanding that this particular piece of core tech is very close to being done. Okay, so by now you probably know that the final piece of the salvage puzzle will be the ability to crack the hull into multiple pieces. As as far as I know, there were three ways of doing this discussed at various points in development. The first is the big claw on the reclaimer being used to crush and split the hull. This is the one I see as least likely. I think it's more likely to be used to hold the wreck in place, to be salvaged rather than to split it. The second is explosive charges that were brought up with the vulture. Now I think this one is very interesting because I think it could also be used for ship and station breaching. And I think it might be the first one to be implemented, but we will see about that. I think the idea would be that you buy a bunch of explosive charges, scan the wreck to find the breakpoints, then place the charges along them to split the hull. This could be very interesting and provide some element of danger, but it requires placeable explosives and quite likely a rework of EVA. The last one was only mentioned briefly, the ability to split a ship by cutting through critical supports. Now I believe the FPS cutting tool, the vulture and the reclaimer will be able to do this. The question is at what scale and whether it also falls under the free form cutting tech that's being developed. We don't know much about this, but I think it will work in a very similar way to explosives. Though I'm not sure how the two approaches will coexist. And this brings the next issue. What do you do with the pieces of the wreck? Well, I don't think CAG ever mentioned what will actually happen. But the reclaimer has the big grinding room and I think the vulture has some kind of a processing area as well. So my current theory is that you will somehow transfer the small broken down pieces in there through some door with a tractor beam or with an extraction beam similar to mining. From there I guess the processing could create some kind of a mixed material that could be refined into regular resources, but like I said before, CAG haven't confirmed what the goal gameplay for salvage is. On a final note, somewhere along the development, CAG will probably expand the selection of salvageable wrecks. At the time of writing, wrecks are natively only available in space. I think we can expect wrecks planet side very soon. And I would like to see non-ship salvageable objects as well. For example, ground bases or space stations and satellites. But overall, I think the initial implementation of salvage works great and I can't wait to see how CAG progress with it moving forward. And with that being said, that's it for tonight. What do you think? What's the next step with salvage? Is it going to develop in the near future or will CAG wait for a while? Let me know in the comments, thank you for watching, fly safe and I will see you in the verse.